Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a video showing you um, a whole bunch of products that I prefer to use for the summertime and also things that I want to recommend to you for the summertime. So let's just get on with it because this video is going to be super, super, super long, so I'm going to try to talk as fast as I can. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to try to talk that much because I have a bunch of products to show you, so I don't want to get too much into detail, so let's just get started. Okay. So let me first start out with, I have everything lined up on my table, so I'm just going to start off with whatever is here first. So I'm going to get started with eyeshadows. So for the summertime, um, I, I, since it's summertime, it's hot and humid, I just like using um, nice natural neutral looking eyeshadows, you know, just a nice neutral tone um, where it looks effortless like you didn't try so hard. So, because it's summertime, it's hot, so you don't want to, you know, wear too much colors. But, there are days when I also like wearing nice summery colors, like purples and turquoise, pinks, you know, nice colorful colors. So, here's a nice um, eyeshadow trio from LA Colors, which has, like, purples, there's a turquoise right there. And, I really, really like using this Revlon Quad. And this is um, the Color Stay 12 Hour Eyeshadow, and it just has all these beautiful neutral colors right here. It just has a, just has the nice, the best um, brown eyeshadows, perfect for the summertime. And I also like using this eyeshadow palette from NYC, which also has like nice, has a nice variation of different um, neutral colors. And it also has like a nice purple up there too. Okay, then um, I also like using my Urban Decay Summer of Love palette. And these also have, this one's the best for the summer because it has all these great neutral, these neutral tones right here and natural everyday colors. But then the end has this really nice purple eyeshadow. And this one's called Flash. And this one's just a nice electric purple. Okay, then I also like using um, primers and stuff like that, but to make my eyeshadows kind of pop, give it more of a nice finishing color. I mean, long lasting color. I also like to use these Revlon Cream Eyeshadows as bases. And this one is called Not Just Nudes, and this one just has the best um, neutral colors. And this one is called Twilight, and this one just has kind of more like the smoky look, the smoky colors that her nighttime looks. And I just dab my finger in it, great. Oh, I hate when that happens. See that? can't see, but I just freaking dab my whole nail into it. Ugh. See that? Makeup is so... See that? I have it all over my hand. See that? gonna rub it all over my hand, who cares? Okay, so that's that. And um, another color that I love to use for the summertime is a nice purpley color. And I showed you the the purple from my Urban Decay Pop, but I also like using a nice lilac color. And this one's um, called Lux Lilac from Maybelline. You just look at that. And I also like using some nice blues, um, navy blues, turquoise, um, kind of like a sky blue, different kinds of blues. And I like using my NYX Sexy Blue Eyes palette. And this one right here just has the perfect summer colors. Because the top you have all these nice um, different variations of blue. You have your dark navy blue, you have a turquoise, you have like a sea green, and the bottom just has nice neutral colors. Good for every day. So this is this is really good too for the summer. Okay guys, so let me just move on to the lips the lip products. I love using nice um kind of natural looking colors for the summer and for the spring, such as pinks, nudes, um, champagne, you know, nice nude colors, but I also like to go for a nice pop of color, such as, I think the best colors for spring and summer are nice, you know, bright, florally colors, such as pinks, fuchsias, maroons, and you guys know I am in love with this lipstick, you guys definitely need to try this out or go purchase it, 
And this is the one from Rimmel. Uh, what is this? Moisture Renew Lipstick. I love this. This is just the best color. See, I'm almost out of it. Well, not really. But this is just the best, best, best tone of pinkish, fuchsia, whatever you want to call it. But it's just amazing. Let me just swatch on it for you guys. See, it's just the best fuchsia color, um, just the best floral color. Looks so pretty. You can't see it that much, but yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah, but I really like that. And I also like to use nice... Oh, and here's another one from Alme. And this one is called Raspberry, and it's just a nice kind of... Um, kind of like a berry red. And this is also really good for the summer. And I also like to use nudes, such as Revlon Soft Nude, which I really, really like. It's a soft Nude. You, I'm pretty sure you guys know this one. And for glosses, I like to use um, Nice Pink. This one's from L'Oreal's Hip Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss and Hypnotic. And it's just a nice frosty pink color. And this one's from Clinique, and this is their... Um, there's double-sided long glass glossware on this side, which has SPF 15, and this one's a lipstick. This one's a different lipstick. So this is really good, too. And I also love using my e.l.f. Minty Lip Gloss, which is just the prettiest, sparkly, um, bright pink color. And, of course, for, you know, the typical nude color, we always like to use, like, a nice pink. And this one is Ferris Nude by L'Oreal. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what that looks like. This is really, really popular. Okay, so I guess that's all for that. For the eyes and the products. Okay, so then... Oh my god, I forgot to show you these. Okay, so I also like using this one. If I want like a nice pop of color, I like to use... Um, this kind of maroon lip gloss, and this is the Revlon Color Stay Over Time lip color. So it has a lip color on this side, and the other side just has a gloss. And I also like using these two Revlon um, lipsticks right here. This one's just a, this one's from the Color Stay Soft and Smooth, and it's just a nice pink color. So I'm telling you, just everything that has just a nice bright fuchsia pinkish color. It's really nice. Okay, so let me just get on with the hair and all the other products. Okay, so if you're going to go to the beach, you definitely have to use sunblock. You don't want to get burned. You don't want to get too dark. You don't want to get sunburned. Um, I like to use a copper tone sport sunscreen. And I don't. I prefer using a spray because I don't like using lotions or anything creams because it's just sticky and it's just going to get all icky and feel sticky all over my skin. So I'd rather just use a spray. And the higher the SPF, the better. But this is just SPF 15. And this is ultra waterproof and sweat proof. So I really, really like this for the beach. So definitely you need some black for the summer. Um, for the face, my, my face tends to get oily. It gets really, um, I'm really acne prone in the summer because I really, really break out. So I love to exfoliate. So I love using my St. Ives Apricot Scrub just to take away, you know, the dead skin cells, um, the roughness, the oils, just to basically refresh and renew my skin, revealing, you know, the brightness underneath that. Then, oh, you could also use a different kind of exfoliator. This one is for oily and problem skin from Lush, and this is the Herbalism, and this one's just a nice exfoliating cleanser. You can get this at Lush. Then also, um, definitely need to get some off lotion for those nasty bugs and mosquitoes, especially me, because I went to the Philippines and I did not bring this. I just bought this right now because I hang out in my backyard a lot. And you guys don't even want to see my legs. I came back from the Philippines and my legs are covered in, um, what do you call that? Ah, I thought I got lipstick on my shirt. But my legs are covered in, like, dark black and brown spots from mosquito bites. So definitely need to get some off lotion to get those mosquitoes away from you. Okay, so it's time for the other things. I put everything on this bag. 
so I don't have to keep reaching her. Okay, so time for blushes. Um, I love different color blushes. I like using peachy, orangey blushes just to give my face like a nice, bright, healthy glow. I like to use bronzers to contour, just basically like a nice highlighting, bronzy glow on my cheeks. So basically bronzer. And I love using my Coastal Sense 10 Color Blush Palette because it has all the colors you need. Um, in the top right here, it has a lot of um peachy colors, nice peachy colors, perfect for the summer months, and then it has nice two baby pink colors right there, so this is really good, Then I also like using um, a nice kind of, like a bronzy muted pink um, face powder, no I'm sorry, blush, and I like using this blush right here from my Benefit Celebi Tom palette, but you could get this separately. And this is the, the blush from Benefit, and it's right here. And this one is called Dallas. So this is really pretty. You can get it at Benefit, sold separately. Um, I also like to use um, this one. This one's my favorite. This one is the NYC Color Real Face Powder, and this is just a nice peachy blush. And it looks like this. You can't see that. That's what it looks like. It kind of has like different shapes in it. Um, and this one's called Peach Glow. So really, really pretty for the cheeks for the summer. And I also like using um, what is that? Okay, I also like using a bronzer. And this one's from Target. You can get it in any drugstores um, where they sell Rimmel London. And this is from Rimmel. This is their Shimmering Maxi Bronzer. And it's super, super big. It's like as big as my hand. But I love using this for my cheeks. You know, if I just want to dust a little bit of color in my cheeks, you know, to give me a nice, um, you know, just to give me like that nice sun-kissed look where you want to look healthy, you want to just give your face a touch of glow. So it looks like this. And it's also really good for the body if you want to put some on your neck, for, on, your, um, on your arms. It's basically a nice bronzing tanning powder. Okay, then I also love to use um, powders on my face and different face products that's going to prevent oiliness and that's going to keep my face mattified. So you definitely want to use a primer, and I love using, this is my favorite primer right now, and this is from Rimmel. Um, this is the Fix and Perfect Foundation Primer. Um, you definitely want to use a primer to prevent, you know, your foundation from you know, slipping and to make it last long. And I love using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And the purpose of this powder is to basically keep your face mattified and shine control. So I really love this. You guys need to try out this powder. And if you also want to go for a nice natural look, um, you don't want your face to be too cakey. You don't want to. You want. You don't want it to be too heavy. So if you're just going to go out and run errands or just basically a lazy day where it's a nice summer day, you don't want to use too much face makeup and you want to skip foundation and concealer, you could just dust on nice, light, loose powder. And I love using this one. It's so natural looking. It's very light on the face, but it has enough coverage. And this is the blended face powder from Clinique what it looks like and this is amazing it's so gentle on the face very very natural looking love it and I also like using this is another like I, like I told you guys before for the summer you I don't know about you guys but my face is so oily because it's hot it's humid it's sticky um, it's muggy so I need to use primers and powders and foundations that's going to mattify my skin so you want to use products that has ingredients that will do that and this one is the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. I absolutely love this stuff. This is amazing. And it just looks like this. Okay, then I also like to use um, this Hard Candy Bronzer. And this is really nice for contouring. This one's called Hula Hula. So I love that. Um, I also like to use... Ah! I just dropped it. I'm sorry. So I also like to use this Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask, and this just basically um, refreshes your face and dries up acne pimples. Okay guys, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you next time.